Welcome to Kettlebell Movement. Today's session is high intensity interval training, Tabata style. So grab your medium to heavy bells and let's get started. Okay, so today's practice session is going to be more of a beginner's session. And the reason I say that is not because it will be lower intensity than any other session, but because we'll be sticking to more basic exercises. So it's not going to be as technical. Um, as far as the intensity is concerned, you can make it more or less intense just by using a heavier or lighter kettlebell. So really that's what it comes down to. Anybody can use this session, even the most advanced practitioner can get a lot of benefit from this workout just by using a slightly heavier kettlebell. So you can challenge yourself to any degree, but technically speaking, it will not be the most challenging workout. We're gonna keep it to the basics, which is a kettlebell swing, a clean, a push press, and a snatch. So we're gonna do four rounds of Tabata, which is four minutes each round. So we're gonna go through eight cycles of 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off. We can do that eight times until we've hit four minutes total of one given exercise. I'll let you take a quick break and then we're gonna come into the next exercise and do that for another four minutes with a cycle of 20 on, 10 off. We're gonna go through all four exercises, the swing, the clean, the push press or jerk, and also the snatch in that style. So we'll have done a total of, uh, what do we have, 16 minutes by the time we're done, okay? So we're gonna start off with our kettlebell swings. This is a two-handed swing. Hopefully you have your bells out front. Get back into those bells, and I'm gonna get started here in about three seconds. And let's begin. Kettlebell swings for 20 seconds on. we go taking 10 seconds off this bell that I have here just so you know is about one third of my body weight just a little bit less ready to go Setting it safely. 10 seconds of rest. So one minute in, out of four minutes. A few more seconds here. And let's go. go 20 seconds again 10 second break got four seconds left hope you guys are still with me get those bells going takes me roughly two seconds to set that bell down each time we're halfway through let's go taking me a little bit longer here I was only 11 reps, I'd done 12 prior to that, but it's taking me just as long. One more swing. Taking a break, we got about six seconds of rest. We got one minute left in this round. My forearms are killing me. 20 seconds, let's go. Let's 
setting it safely. Go one more round coming up, 20 seconds. Four more seconds of rest. Shaking out those grip muscles. Here we go, 20 seconds on. Setting it safely. Taking a break, nicely done. 10 seconds left, and then take a full break. Really well done, there's your first round of Tabata. Two-handed swings, shake off your forearms, shake off anything you need, get a quick drink, we're gonna come right back with cleans. Take a break. This next round coming up is ballistic kettlebell cleans. So you're going to start with the bell out front, swing it back, and begin with your cleans from there. So this is a circular clean movement. Uh, you can see I chalked up my hands and my bell. Uh, I just felt like my grip was starting to fail on that last set. I'm going to get started here. If you guys are ready, ballistic cleans. I'm going to stay on one hand for an entire set of 20 seconds. I'm going to switch on the next, after my 10 second break. Right there. Set it safely. Gives me about six seconds left here. Switching hands here. 20 seconds on. Let's go. All right, there's 20 seconds. Set it safely. Get a little bit of that chalk off my hands. Working a little too well. Here we go, three more seconds and rest. Two, one, clean. 20 seconds. There you go, set it safely. Switching hands after 10 seconds of rest. I was a little early on that one, to be honest with you. Take a quite shorter rest to compensate. Here we go. One more. Set it safely. Okay, here we go. Take 10 seconds off. And then get started back on my, on my left hand. We're halfway through. Let's go. One more clean. Take me to 20 seconds. Set it safely. Still using this 70 pound bell. It's about one third of my body weight, just barely under one third. So it gives you an idea of what bell might be best for you. Switching again here. Halfway through this hand. One more clean. Setting it safely. Okay, we've got 10 seconds, we've got about five left. We've got one more minute left. One more round on each hand. Let's go. One 
one more clean take me to 20 seconds and there it is sitting it safely we've got about six seconds left to break that break doesn't last long by the time you set the bell down you haven't got much left here we go last round here last hand of the last round of cleans five seconds left and there's eight setting it and there you go there's your tabata round of ballistic cleans take a break get some new drink keep it fast chalk up clean the chalk off do what you got to do coming up is push presses one bell all the way through this workout so we're going to do the push presses the same way left and right take a break This next round is push presses, and we're gonna step it up a little bit by not putting the bell down in between breaks. So while that 10 seconds is taking off of break time, you're not gonna be putting the bell down. You're gonna hold on to the bell for that 10 second break time and then go back into it for 20 seconds. So this intensity will increase. It'll be much more of an active rest for those 10 seconds. So this will be a little bit more challenging for that reason. It's also gonna be more challenging because of the nature of the exercise, which is the push press, is, is going to be, feel more challenging than a clean, for example. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to clean the bell up to the rack position, begin our 20 seconds from there. We're going to go 20 seconds of push presses. I will start with my non-dominant hand. At that point, you can rest at the base of the 20 seconds for 10 seconds in the rack position. When that 10 seconds of rest has expired, you're going to swing switch, clean to the other hand, and begin your push presses, at which point you'll have about 15 seconds left because the swing switch and clean will take about the first five seconds or so of that side. So you'll have about 15 seconds left for your push presses. You're gonna take the bell back down and rest it for 10 seconds, swing switch and clean, and do your push presses again. So that's how this workout is gonna go. You're not setting the bell down. If you do not feel comfortable with a swing switch and clean, then simply set the bell down safely and take it a clean from the ground if, if you don't feel comfortable with your swing switch. I did say this was a beginner's workout, so I at least want to give you that option uh, if you don't feel comfortable with a swing switch, okay? So like I said, we're just going to start the bell off from out front, swing it back, and clean it up to the rack position. And once it's there, we're going to begin our 20 second countdown of push presses or jerks. You can use whichever movement feels right to you. A lot of people have a hard time with a good kettlebell jerk, so then they're still developing a push press. It's your choice. Timer's going to begin. Let's go. Okay, take my break here in the rack position. That was nine. I'm going to keep mental track of how many I'm doing just for my own purposes. I'm trying to keep that bell as light as possible. Ten seconds is up. Swing switch and clean. Okay, there was seven. I'm taking my break for ten seconds. Obviously with the swing switch and clean, I wasn't able to get as many, that's expected. Got about three seconds left, swing switch and clean. And up. Ooh. Tried to swing switch and clean early there. I'm gonna Pull that bell back up to the rack position. Three more seconds, no big deal. 
There you go, put it up. Okay, taking a 10 second break here. We're getting into our last minute of these, or last two minutes, I should say. We're halfway through. About two seconds left. Swing switch. Clean. Here we go, just over halfway through here. Ten second break. Each time I'm getting right on seven. I'm gonna try and maintain that pace as I go. Hopefully I can keep getting sevens. Swing switching clean. And here we go. Up. Ten seconds of break. We've got one more round on each hand. Sixty seconds left. Five seconds of break. Three. Swing switching clean. Here we go. Ha! Ten seconds of break. Still got seven on my last rep of my non-dominant hand. So that's good. I'm gonna get ready to swing switching clean. Here we go. 20 seconds. I'm gonna give you the last 10 seconds in the rack. Go all the way through this thing with the active rest. Four seconds before you dump it. Two, one, set it safely. Nicely done. There's our push presses. That's a very challenging round. It really drives the heart rate up. It doesn't let it come back down again. Take a break, because next round we're going to progress into snatches. Get something to drink. <laughs> This is our final round of Tabata ballistic snatches. 20 seconds off, 10 seconds off. Let's get started. Seven snatches. I think I'm gonna be able to stick to that rep count each time. It gives me just right on 10 seconds of break. Getting started again, right hand, let's go. One more here. 10 seconds of break. Minute in. About four reps per hand, or four sets per hand. Two seconds coming up. Snatch it up. Let's go. Five seconds left. Take a break, 10 seconds. Set it safely and breathe. Getting ready to switch. Almost halfway through. Here we go. Up. 
five seconds left. There's 20. Set it safe with 10 seconds of rest. We're halfway through our fourth and final round. Getting ready in two seconds. Snatch it up. Five seconds left. Last one. Set it safely. Two and a half minutes into four minutes. Got three rounds left. Two right, one left. Ready? Snatch it up, let's go. Five seconds left. We're by seven. Set it safely. There's three minutes done out of four minutes. Three seconds left in break. Get ready to go. Snatch it up. Setting it down safely, just in time. My 10 seconds rest. Last round coming up. My dominant hand. Just gotta fight the heart rate. Let's go. One more snatch. There's 20 seconds. Set it safely. And we're done. There's our four rounds of Tabata. Each exercise getting a little more challenging as we go. Hope you enjoyed that today. Please subscribe to my channel for more workout, fitness, and nutrition guidance.